What's going on YouTube? GSNO right here. So today's video is going to be a recap of what's currently going on in the jailbreak community for iOS 14.2, 14.0, iOS 13.7 and stuff like that. So if you missed some of my videos and you're not up to speed with everything that happened, this video will help you decide which iOS version is perfect for you. So as you probably know, Apple stopped signing iOS 14.1. This means that the best iOS version to be on right now, well, except for 13.7, is no longer signed. So so if you wanted to update a 14.1, it's no longer possible. Now iOS 14.2 is indeed signed, but this one is not exactly very good for jailbreaking because there's no public exploit available. But Apple didn't stop here, apparently according to Macworld, they also released iOS 14.3, which is basically in beta for developers. And Macworld said, quote, this update adds Pro Row for iPhone 12 Pro and a handful of other features and fixes. So the first beta of 14.3 doesn't seem to be a security beta so it doesn't seem to be very dangerous for the jailbreak community but they are still moving so let's see what exactly happened this week in the jailbreak community and what you should know so for those of you who missed my other videos and you're interested in a 13.7 jailbreak simon released this is a poc or proof of concept kernel exploit for 13.7 and lower he said quote here's a poc kernel exploit it demonstrates how to get a kernel task port or tfp0 on 13.7 i will update the poc with a write-up later so this is an important thing, it's a TFP0 kernel exploit for 13.7 and lower, it does support the A12 and A13 devices, although not exactly very well. It's a pretty flaky exploit and it's not the best one available, but it's still a good one. It can be used for a jailbreak, we can use it to update and cover if we need to, but it's not the best exploit we ever had. It's a little bit unstable and it's very hard to make generic for all devices, but still a great release and it's open source. Another important thing that happened was actually when Lion Chen, a security researcher, managed to actually jailbreak the iPhone 12 Pro running the iOS 14.2. They posted a video in here with their jailbreak working and they even got SSH. However, there was no word on any release. Lion Chen, however, demonstrated multiple jailbreaks in the past. They are a very good security researcher and if you remember, the iOS 14.2 was that very bad iOS version to be on, so this is actually quite a good achievement. And although this got a lot of likes and a lot of exposure, I would still not recommend to update the iOS 14.2 because even though they achieved this, this doesn't mean it's going to get released anytime soon. So iOS 14.1 and lower is still a safer bet. If you want to learn more about this, check out the video that I made specially for this. Now another important thing that happened in the past 10 days or so, if you missed it, was the fact that CheckRain got updated. It now supports the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus partially without a passcode and it fully supports the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, iPod Touch 7 and stuff like that. So basically A10 and A10X devices are fully supported now on iOS 14 and the A11 devices are supported partially but you have to skip BPR checks in here and you cannot have a passcode. And the last thing that I would like to mention in case you missed it in this recap is the fact that a fork of Future Restore for iOS 14 has been released. I made a video about it but many of you probably missed it so what happened is that a fork of future restore which works for downgrading and upgrading and stuff like that the iOS 14 devices was released by Adam in here and it's completely open source so for those of you who believe that saving TSS saver blobs is actually useless now we have future restore which can indeed use them you still need to have a compatible SEP and basement but at least now we have a tool to use them so as always definitely save your blobs and yes there is a new interface in here I'm going to make a video about this new tool it's actually TSS saver version 2 so pretty good. So that's basically it. That's what happened in the last couple of days in the jailbreak community for both iOS 13.7 and stuff like that and for the iOS 14. The best version to be on for now would be 13.7 or lower but if you cannot have that 14.1 or lower. Stay away from 14.2 even though it was already jailbroken privately. So thank you for watching. I am Gio Snow. Till the next time subscribe to stay updated and peace out.